Hey there, Brew Crew. Opie here. Welcome back to my Brew City Garden. If you recall, last week we started setting up the uh, tomato bucket system. Uh, and as you can see, all the tomatoes that I've transplanted, uh, they, they took very well. I had zero transplant shock whatsoever. So these plants were very happy to get transplanted uh, into the buckets and uh, are just looking wonderful. So it's getting to where pretty soon uh, it's going to start warming up to the point to where I need to make sure that these are watered every day. And I travel a lot, so I can't always be here to water them. Uh, so we're going to set up the drip irrigation. Uh, before we do that, though, I've got to get the cages put in. And with that being said, uh, you know, I've tried several different types of tomato cages over the years. And most of the ones that you buy in the store are pretty rinky dink. They just don't work very well. They end up getting bent. They might last one season. And uh, if your tomatoes take on any kind of real size, those little cages just they just don't work. Now you can buy some big beefy uh, tomato cages, but you're going to pay through the teeth for those things. So I came up with another idea and I'm going to show you right now. After being tired of dealing with those little cages that just really don't work. I mean, if you want to use them to grow your peppers, hey, that's great. They work out just fine. But if you want to grow some nice tomatoes, those cages just aren't going to work. Now, as I said, you can go and buy some big beefy tomato cages um, at, you know, at a garden center or something like that, but you're going to pay a ton of money for those things. So with a little bit of investment and a little bit of time, uh, I came up with uh, a solution that works so well. It's just unbelievable. Now, if you look at this tomato cage, this thing is a monster. Nothing's going to break this. It's going to stand up to anything that mother nature throws at it. But there's just one thing. Uh, as far as I know, you can't buy these in the store. You got to make them yourself. So if you go to your local big box home improvement store, you can pick up rolls of concrete reinforcement wire. And that's just what it is. It's a concrete reinforcement used uh, in the construction industry. Uh, just so happens this stuff makes an awesome tomato cage as well. Uh, like I said, there's a little bit of an investment, but it's going to save you a ton of money in the long run. I was able to pick up a 100 foot roll of concrete reinforcing wire. I think I got it on sale about five years ago for like $90 but it it made a ton of tomato cages i was able to get uh, at least 20 cages and i've still got you know probably another three or four cages worth of wire left on the roll uh, just that i haven't used because i haven't needed it really what i should do is go ahead and build those cages and list them up on craigslist or another local uh marketplace maybe i can sell them off uh, I would think that if you bought a cage like this in the in the store or at a um, a, a garden center, you're probably looking at thirty, forty dollars for one of these things. I mean, they're just a beef master. These things are they're, they're impenetrable. They really are. So what I did was I just took uh, the roll of reinforcing wire, I rolled it out to the dimension that um, I knew that I would need took a small angle grinder or a metal cutter uh, you could use a small set of bolt cutters even and cut the wire where you need it uh, just be careful wear your safety glasses and gloves and all that good thing because this is steel um, once i got it cut to where i wanted it i rolled it and i just clipped it together right here with these cage clips and these are just clips uh, used to make uh, cages for animals basically real simple just little clips and a little um, tool that will help form them onto the cages and I think this cost me like $15 for more clips that I could ever use and this uh, little tool it's not the greatest tool but hey for building of uh, 20 tomato cages it works just perfect it works great so let me bring you in here a little bit closer and show you exactly um, what this looks like. So again, right along the seam here, I just put a uh, cage clip right here along uh, each section. And these things are really super sturdy. Um, you might want to have somebody help you put these together if you're going to do this yourself. Uh, just until you get the first few clips on. Um, once you get them on, 
these things, I've never had to replace them. They've shown no signs of stretching or anything like that. And if they do, I'll just come back and add a few more clips. But as far as um, a nice beefy tomato cage, man, these things are awesome. I am so glad I made the investment and I put a little bit of time into making these cages. All right, so now that you've seen the cage and uh, you know how I made them, I need to get them set up out here in the uh, tomato bucket system. So let's, let's get these guys set up and uh, we should be good to go. I got my beastly tomato cages uh, put up on the tomato bucket system. Uh, you know, like I said, these things are, what, five years old now? And besides just a little bit of rust, uh, there's nothing wrong with them at all. Uh, I suppose you could put an acrylic on them if you really wanted to, but honestly, I don't see uh, any need to do that. Uh, just be a little bit careful handling them. Uh, however, this is just an awesome way to make tomato cages. It saved me a ton of money. They're super sturdy. I don't have to worry about anything. Uh, honestly, I don't even have to stake them to the ground or weigh them down or anything. They just, they just work. Um, I think I had one storm where there was a tornado nearby that kind of knocked them sideways uh, one time. Otherwise, I've never had any issues with them. They stand up themselves. I'm, they just, they work perfect. I got the tomatoes transplanted in the buckets. I got the cages put over the buckets. Now the only thing left to do is to put in the irrigation system. So make sure you stay tuned for that. I will show you step by step um, how I put the irrigation in and how I set up the automatic timers. Really a simple thing. Uh, but if you've never done it before, I could see where you might want to see it for yourself. So I will definitely go through that. Stay tuned and I'll show you how all that works. All right, guys, every day we're one step closer. You know, the only way to eat an elephant is one bite at a time. And let me tell you, I got one great big elephant to eat, but we're getting there one bite at a time. All right, guys, hey, make sure you take some time for yourself today. Get out into the garden, go out for a walk, get into nature. This is the most beautiful time of year, so make sure you're out there and enjoying it. And with that being said, I want you guys to have a wonderful day. And until next time, we'll see you.